climate change is inevitable and it is happening. So particularly in the both the poles, the it is seen visibly. It's equally in the equatorial region, particularly in dryland areas of uh, uh, globe, the climate change impact is uh, visibly seen. So uh, its impact on agriculture is uh, a direct impact. Uh, to a great extent of say around 60 to 70 percent. Indirectly, it is going to affect to 40 to 30 percent. The direct impacts are reduction in the yields and uh, uh, affordable prices of food uh, to the uh, human beings across the uh, equatorial region. The impact of climate change can be first mitigated by adopting new agro meteorological interventions like uh, uh, soil conservation, water conservation, uh, adapting um, uh, to the changes in the climate through uh, good varieties that would come up even under the extreme drought conditions. In case of jowar, in case of uh, uh, pearl millet, uh, we can have uh, such varieties. So, uh, even though breeding play an important role in finding the better varieties, uh, the social acceptance is a problem so that uh, Agronomically and agrometeorologically, uh, we can find wonderful solutions through uh, agrometeorological interventions, uh, as I suggested. That is uh, soil conservation, water conservation.